we think of it now more in terms of a, an, an ecological zone, an ecology with wetlands creatures in it. And so it doesn't represent evolution over eons, rather it represents phases in the flood. So why do we have these creatures here? Because the flood deposited in lower areas, wetlands areas first, before it rose up higher onto higher ground later in the flood. Here we are at Painted Desert. Painted why? The different colors of rock layers. And we could see in the distance, these layers uh, extend for many, many, many miles, nice and flat. They've been carved. The remnants of what was once nice and flat are what we see today. What's in those remnants? What's in the rocks we see today, fossil-wise? We see, here's the key word, wetlands creatures. Crocodiles and crawdads and many others. Wetlands, wetlands, wetlands. My conventional colleagues would say that these are, in fact, I just got done talking with a park ranger who said, the dinosaurs, the few dinosaurs that we have mixed with these wetland creatures, they're the pre-dinosaurs. They were evolving into dinosaurs, but they're actually kind of almost already dinosaurs. He sounded confused. Um, and I think he's confused about the environment because the conventional way of thinking is that this is like the normal environment. It was a wetlands environment that got preserved as rocks. What wetlands environment turns into a, an extensive rock layer burying all of its creatures and in, in flat layers? Nowhere, that happens nowhere today. So we don't interpret this as a, some sort of a set of rock layers, the Chinle Formation, that represent a time before the dinosaurs that were deposited later. We represent, we, we think of it now more in terms of a, an, an ecological zone, an ecology with wetlands creatures in it that was deposited before a different ecology and its creatures were dumped on top. In other words, one view has eons, millions of years between the Triassic layers here and the Jurassic layers on top, but our view is this does not show evolution of creatures from dinosaur into dinosaur, rather the dinosaurs that we do have, the few that are here, are already fully dinosaurs. The crawdads that we have here are already fully crawdads. And so it doesn't represent evolution over eons, rather it represents phases in the flood. So why do we have these creatures here? Because the flood deposited sediment in lower areas, wetlands areas first, before it rose up higher onto higher ground later in the flood. So the flood has a good explanation for why we have the different kind of creatures that we have as fossils in layers below and above. We have marine, 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 then wetlands, and then finally hard ground living, uh, land living creatures at the top because they were the ones that were deposited last as the floodwaters went up higher and higher up on the continents. And the second feature that we see here that really supports that whole view is the flat, broad extent of these deposits that we see behind us. Um, happens nowhere today, but it happened everywhere in the past, just like the Bible says about Noah's flood. <laughs>